Okay, we're back at the document. I think we left off at 87 last time, so we'll go to section 88. Again, this is the table of contents. So what do you do? You just kind of scroll there. So it's a very long document. It's in its draft mode, so it's still going to be updated. So the page numbers are not going to be um, the same, but they're similar. So we're going to section 88, right? Let's take a look at that. And yes, yeah, it's a long document. We've gone through a lot already. So 88. Wow, it's really long. We're almost at 88 now. So what are you going to do? Just click on the, um, the red link. It'll bring you directly there. And let's discuss it now. So what are we discussing? We're, we're in section 88 now. Um, but this is 88. Someone says, what's this all about? Whoops, sorry about that. Scroll a little bit too quickly over there. So what's this all about? It's about uh, my draft version. Uh, I'm Ron Bannon of Webster Wells' uh, Advanced Course in Algebra, and that dates back to 1904. This document is being prepared for the, um, the participants in the uh, Prison Mathematics Project. All right? Okay, really typical. We have contents for you to read. We have examples for you to, you know, study. And then we have stuff for you to work on, the exercises to reinforce what you're learning. I realize other people may want access to the document. It's not published yet. When it is published, um, certainly I'll let people know that. In the meantime, if you need to reach out to me for whatever reason, my email address is Bannon, that's B as in boy, A-N-N-O-N dot U-S. All right? Now, certainly I'm not going to read this section to you. It's a very short section, by the way. But the bottom line is they talk about, you know, if the degree of the numerator is equal to or greater than the denominator, you should basically long divide. So let's take a look. I'm going to go through the example for you. And certainly I, we've been doing long division for a long time now. And if you think about it, it's, you know, you've been doing long division since grade school. Well, this, is, this is long division that might be a little bit easier to deal with. And let me see. I think I might have copied the problem wrong. Let me make sure that um, I think there might be a problem with the problem. Yeah, you know what? I copied it wrong. This is, um, and the reason for that, I want to point out what we're doing over here. We're doing this example here. And I just noticed I copied this wrong. So I got to redo the problem. This is X here. All right. So again, I have to cross this out. I'll correct it later. Whoops, sorry about that. And let's take a look. All right. So let's take a look at this. I'll do my division. Again, the degree of the top is three, the degree of the bottom is a square. So the degree of the top is bigger than the bottom. So I'm going to do division. So x minus x. And what do you get over here? You would get x cubed minus 3x squared. I'm going to put down 0x. You don't need to, but some students do. Uh, what do you do now? You, what, what times x squared would get x cubed? It would just be x, right? So what do you get? x times x squared is x cubed. Then you'd get, uh, let's see, minus x squared, right? You're going to subtract. When you subtract, what do you get? You're going to get minus 2x squared. Drop a place down, and that would be minus 1. If you want, you can put the 0x there if you like. All right, what do you do now? Match. How do you do that? Minus 2. Well, minus 2 times x squared is minus 2x squared. That's a match. And then what are you going to get? You can get plus 2x. You're going to subtract. You get minus 2x, minus 1. Let me write this down now. When I do that, again, I had to make a correction over here. This will turn out to be x squared. I'm sorry. I made a mistake there. It's going to turn out to be x minus 2 plus unfinished business. What's the unfinished business? Minus 2x minus 1. I didn't divide it by x squared minus x. What do you do now? Well, I'm going to rewrite it. I'm going to keep, you know, step by step. This is equal to x minus 2 minus 2x plus 1. And I'm going to factor the bottom now. What's the bottom? x, x minus 1. Let's keep moving. x minus 2 minus it's a little bit more difficult. And what I mean by that is I'm kind of looking at it. And I know there's two fractions there. I just don't know what they are for the, 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 the uh, top parts of it. But I'll write this over here. Yes, I put in parentheses for a reason. You would have x, <coughs> and you'd have x minus 1. They're linear factors. So I'm expecting there's going to be an a and a b on the top. All right, let's hope it's doable. So much how are you going to do this over here? I'm going to equate the, and I'll circle this for you. I'll tell you what I'm equating. I'm equating this with um, this over here, all right? And that's going to require, you know, for a lot of people, just the, the ability to write it down and move forward. So I'm going to write this down. I'm equating 2x plus 1 over x, x minus 1, with a over x plus b over x minus 1. What am I going to do now? Multiply both sides with the LCD. Fairly easy to do. The LCD is x 
x minus 1. What do you get? 2x plus 1 equals a times x minus 1 plus bx. I'm going to pick an easy number. And again, what I mean by an easy number, an easy number to substitute in here. All right? So if someone says, why are you doing it there? I really need to figure out what the a and the b is. And once I do that, I'll be uh, able to uh, write the uh, partial fraction decomposition down. So I'm going to choose x to be 0. And if you did it, what would you get? You would get 1 on the left side. On the right side, you get minus a. All right, so what's a equal to? a would be minus 1. All right, I want to get the b now. How am I going to do that? I'm going to take x to be 1 now. What would you get? 3 equals... Well, again, I'm looking at that, that highlighted green thing over there. What do you get? You get just B. And what's B? B is 3 now. So I'm going to get my eraser out. I'm going to erase this A. And I'm going to erase the B. And I'm going to put those numbers in now. So what's the A? A turned out. And again, I want to remind you these things are written down for you. The A is minus 1. I'll write this over here and the B was three. So I wanna clean it up a little bit, and let me write that down for you. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna clean this up. We'll look at the key later. This is gonna be X minus two. Well, let's see, minus, minus one over X is plus one over X. And then we get minus three over X minus one. Okay, the answer is listed right over here. All right, same answer, X minus two plus one over X minus three over X minus one. All right, so now what do you have to do? You got to do the exercises. All right, now what, 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 what I'm talking about over here is you really have to make sure you understand what was presented to you is understood. All right, now what was presented? Well, it's more partial fractions, <coughs> but now the degree to the top is going to be uh, equal to or greater than the bottom. So, for example, over here, if you look at this one over here, this is a cubic on top and a square on the bottom. You're going to do a long division. All right, if you find any errors in my work, please bring it to my attention. Number two, the degree of the top is three. The degree of the bottom is three. You're still going to do a long division. Now, someone's going to say, you didn't put all the work down for these problems. And you're right, I didn't, but I could. So I'm going to claim over here is we do put down some partial work for you, but not all the work. If you need more work, let me know. Right? Like if you need me to write down the long divisions for you, I'll do that for you. All right? But some of these things tend to be kind of sparse in their content. But again, I do the partial fraction decomposition. Here's a degree six over a degree four. Long division again, you're going to start. Degree five over degree five, long division is called for again. Right, degree six over degree four, long division is called for again. And we write the answers down for you. Then what do you get to? The SAGE thing. What's SAGE? Hope you're getting familiar with this. It's a computer algebra system or a CAS, C-A-S. It's free. What do I mean by that? Open source software. Go to this website over here. That's clickable if you have the PDF document, the, e the electronic form of it. You can either download the application or use the interactive web-based application. We've discussed this a long time ago. And when did we discuss it? When we were first introducing this text. And I believe I put 00 WW Sage. And I went through how to use both the downloaded software and the interactive web-based application. What do you expect to do? Well, if you want to learn how to use a computer algebra system, I'd say do little pieces at a time. And what's this one about? It's about partial fractions. All right, thank you for paying attention. Again, if you need to reach out to me, my email address is Bannon. That's B as in boy, the at symbol, N-N-O-N dot U-S. Thank you.